Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again. Heading out in the M24 Chaffee, my favorite, my favorite. So, I figured I'd come back with the M24. So these videos uh, haven't been around for a little while. Trying, trying, trying to get back going again. But, gameplay, history, tips, like mostly lower level stuff. Things that are going to help the you know, guys that are getting started. I like the lower tier stuff. I have a lot more fun with that. Uh, close. I don't think I can get an angle on this guy. It, it, like, it looks like I can get right in that corner. He's going to get me before I get him. But anyway, so we'll talk about the M24 a little bit here. I've done a few M24 videos. It's my favorite. My favorite. Two engines, Cadillac engines, made in a Cadillac plant in Michigan, if I remember right. M24 was kind of a, a modern take on a semi-well-armored, uh, fast tank with a decent gun. Uh, the way to use it in the game, to me, is a lot of fun. Uh, you can lay back. You got good, um, like scope or whatever you want to call it. You know, where you, the magnification, where you can zoom in on stuff. Uh, it's got a lot of good tools. You got smoke grenades. You got the not well binoculars, but the uh, scouting. You can do the scouting in there, help your team. Um, and I like to kind of just lay back and observe what's going on. And then usually, God, this is killing me. You can tell I haven't been around for a minute, right? So, yeah, I want to get it. I wanted to get his barrel. I was, I was hoping to be able to get the barrel, try to help the guys out. That he's, there we go. All right, well, hello, and he's gone. So, I was trying to get the barrel. So that's something to kind of think about uh, as you play the game. If you can take out the barrel or the breach on one of these guys, it's going to help anybody that's over close to him. Because he was trying to get an angle to get side shots on those guys going over there to see. Um, okay. Let's see what's happening. So from here you can do a lot of scouting. See where uh, most of the guys are. If you scout them, then they show up for the rest of your team for a certain amount of time. I think it's 30 seconds. So that helps because the rest of the team will have better awareness about what's going on and everything. You can see the speed of the chappy now. So we're going to zoom down in here. There's guys up here, so I don't just want to go... There's no armor, really, so I don't want to go zooming around the corner here. He's obviously shooting at somebody, and it looks like there's more than one guy over here, so I don't want to just pull right out and... Hello? Especially with the side shot. The The front of the turret on this thing has got some pretty decent armor for this tier, but uh, let's see what we got. Oh, there... Yeah. Let's see. It looks like there's a bunch of guys over here, but... I'm not seeing any of them. I mean, that, you know, that's the guy. Oh, okay. oh, God. So I think there might have been something sticking out in front of that guy a little bit. But main bullet point, turret. If you can take out somebody's uh, barrel or breach, that'll help anybody that's over there. Like I was saying, that guy was trying to get a side shot there, it looked like. And uh, if you can take out that barrel or the breach for a little bit, that might help somebody maybe sneak through that didn't even see him. Or it might help somebody who's trying to shoot at him. They can see that that barrel's all splintered and everything. And then uh, they might be able to go finish him off. Oh, boy. Let's see. A uh, bunch of guys over there. What is this? Another M24? I think I saw it say that. Okay. Oh, well, there's over here I could just drive I did not know that all right let's see what's over this way. so these are the roads that lead down into here there we go cool um, those roads they lead down in and you, it's hard to see through all the fences and the houses and stuff and a lot of guys can get pretty good angles back in there so you got to kind of work carefully trying to come up and also for those of you who don't know or forgotten or whatever so in these videos, my goal, the way I play the game, is I try not to die. Okay, so like that might not be fun to everybody, but to me, like that's the challenge. Is I want to go in here, I want to get some kills, I don't want to die, you know. Nobody wants to die. 
but oh, what is that? Is that a stew? Okay. Um, so I try not to just run in and die because it doesn't really help your team either when you're running in, dying, going all the way back to the spawn, having to fully reset. If you can stay in the game and stay engaged, it's going to help your team way more than getting... I'm, like, I'm going for this. Okay, so the Stug, casemate, he can't... He can't turn his turret at me, so if I go fast enough... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, if I go fast enough... Here we go. He can't get that on me, but watch this. I can stop. Boom. Holy cow. That never works. I always manage to be in the wrong... Uh oh Here we go. Okay, we can get him with guns. Get him with guns. Except... No. Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna make a run for it. I'm gonna drive into the lake here. Stay low, I'm gonna try to get low. I don't know what that thing has for depression, but it might not be able to get down to me. And I got some teammates over here. So anyway, like I was saying, oh, let's see. I know if I hit on a 105 directly in the front of the turret, but I don't think I can get low enough, I'm too high. But if you can hit it square in the front, like halfway up, right in the middle, uh, to either side of the barrel. Oh no, is he seriously? Okay, so I'm taking out his barrel, and then watch this. Oh, the poor guy. This is... I just gotta reload. There we go. Well, so that's that. Okay, so on the 105, either side of the barrel, right in the middle of the, the mantlet or the front of the turret there, it's a weak spot and you can get through there. I can't remember if it's the right or the left. I feel like it's one of those sides uh, that you can get through. And then obviously the side of the turret, the whole side of any of those Shermans uh, is easy. Uh, and toward the front, uh, right where that little angle goes up, that's where the ammo is. So you can put it right through there to the ammo if you get that shot. So. That's just, uh, you know, something to think about when you see a Sherman. Any kind of Sherman with that ammo deal. Um, and you'll start to notice that if you if you look toward the front of them, right where the angle up goes. There's somebody over here. Like, right here. Where? Oh! Does he look? Oh, dear. He's not even... What is going on? He must be in a plane. Oh, poor guy. He's in a plane, and I'm going to finish him off. And there we go. All right. So this game has gone fairly well. So you see, you know, I just I do the whole laying back and observing, blah blah blah, which of course some people think is boring. Um, jeez, oh, I wasn't ready for that at all. Oh man. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and then when the time, you know, when we start to make some moves, then I'll come on in and I'll be a little bit aggressive, like I was with that Stug and stuff, or Stug, whatever it is. Um, but it's a matter of, you, as you play the game more, you'll start to get to know more of the opposing tanks and the things that they can do, and whether it's a casemate or whether it has a turret or what's going on with it. And then that'll allow you to make good decisions uh, as far as how to approach them and, and what you want to do with them. So... You know, the obligatory good game. I think it's about wrapped up. They're taking over A, and everybody's going toward the spawn. So I think we're pretty well done. I'm going to put out more M24 videos here pretty soon. And uh, I just, I love this thing. I have fun with it. I have good games with it. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I think you will. Um, and we're going to kind of talk about the ways to use this, and then we'll get into other vehicles again and start talking about uh, different techniques, different things to think about uh, with different maps and different vehicles and just kind of get rolling again and start getting back into War Thunder a little bit. I've been, I've been missing it. And now that I'm playing it, I realize how much I miss it again. I got to stop doing other stuff. I got to start playing more War Thunder, I guess. All right, so let's see. What do we do? Four, two, five critical hits, 19 hits, scouting, 12. So scouting's helpful. Anyway... Alright guys, well hope you enjoyed the video, good luck, have fun, see you in the next one.